This is a practice drill called top, middle, bottom. As the name suggests, you need to pot a ball from the top row, then from the middle row, and then from the bottom row. After that, you go back to the top row and repeat in the same order. The other rules are that you can only use the corner pockets, you can't cannon into any other balls, and the black must be last. This is a fairly difficult drill because you need to manoeuvre the cue ball around the table. It's very easy to run into other balls, and because the balls in the rows are quite close to each other, you need to make sure that you leave angles so that the white won't run into an adjacent ball. The centre row of balls are also a distance from the pockets, so accuracy is important, particularly on the end ball which has a shallow angle into the corner pocket. Now I'm often asked on the channel about what level I play at, and I think because people only see the attempt where I'm successful, they think I play at a fairly high level. I can assure you I don't, and I only play in a local pub league. I've been playing for about 10 years now, and I've definitely improved for practice, but I'm still an amateur player trying to develop my game just like many of you. I'm happy to admit that this drill got the better of me. I got close several times, and as you can probably see by my exasperation on some of these failures, I've had a lot of attempts. Luckily for me, I was recently contacted by Jordan Church, saying that he'd be happy to help me out on the channel. For those of you who don't know, Jordan was twice World Junior Champion, World Doubles Champion, World Championship Semi-Finalist, and winner of the last IPA Tour event at the UK Open. That somewhat puts my local lower league singles title to shame, so I had every confidence that Jordan would make this look easy. He did have these words of wisdom to help with the completion of the drill. He said that he found the key balls are the inside and outside ball of the middle row, so he tried to get these out of the way as early as possible. This creates a bit more room and makes it easier to come back up the table. You also have to sacrifice the cue ball slightly sometimes to make sure that you get on the right side of the ball so that you can get positioned on the next ball. This means that sometimes you're a little bit further away from the object ball than you'd like to be. He also said that he tried to use the side cushion to come back up the table so that he had a bigger area to land in. If you just screw straight up the table then it's a smaller target and it's harder to control and this is great advice.
as you can see by his face, he got a little lucky, almost going in off. Just going to show that even the pros need a little bit of luck now and again. I refuse to be beaten by this drill, and although no one will believe me, I have since done it once off camera whilst practicing. It's important when you find something difficult not to give up on it. Try to persevere with things. Analyse what's going wrong. Is it a certain type of shot? Maybe you're planning your route in a way that's making things difficult. Just watching a pro like Jordan and how he attempted this gave me an insight into how to approach it differently. I just want to thank him for his kind offer of help and hopefully you've all enjoyed seeing how the pros make it look easy and it's given you something to aspire to. If you want to see more practice routines and pull tutorials then please remember to subscribe and if you're interested in any of the equipment I use in this video then there are links in the description below.